just running and then they use the CGI to like, you know, make it look like he's going around and stuff. You know, they, if they could do it for the Sonic movie, they could do it for the fucking... Yeah, but Sonic is a whole CGI monster, bro. <laughs> What's your name? Are you lost? The girl asked the star child. I'm Luma, and I'm waiting for, mo for Mama. <laughs> Back with some more Super Mario Galaxy. The Mario Gario, bro? Yes, bro. So right now, we're gonna go looking for some Dude's secret about to stars. Find some secret stars, bro. Alright, I need you to. You're, you're my research guy right bro, now. I was about to find a star. Yes. Mm. We're gonna go to Silver Star Sea of Slide. Oh, this could be just the Hungry Luma, maybe? Maybe. Dun, dun. I'm gonna give me the control, lower, lower the volume a tiny bit. <laughs> Bro, my my freaking controller sucks, bro. I'm pressing down the freaking like thing, bro. Yeah, bring it, there you go. There. Mad times, bro. You gotta dig into that freaking button. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think this is a hungry woman that we gotta find. This is a big ass galaxy, bro. Still, um, oh my lord. Still look it up just in case if I'm wrong. Bro, Mark. But bro. it's been been it's, it's been like two weeks. Two weeks actually. Yeah, cause we took a break. Oh yeah. That's why. Yeah, you're right. But yes, yes. Uh, oh, it is a hungry limo. Okay, yeah, I got it. Total of 19. How many secret stars? 19 secret stars. Oh, okay. I mean, we got the green ones, right? Yeah. We got all the green ones. Okay. We got all the green ones. We got all the, the comets. The Luigi. We got the Luigi ones as well, right? Yeah, we should have gotten the Luigi one. We haven't gotten a new, like, the trial, trial galaxy? That's probably the green stars. Yeah, probably. Yeah, that, that's like the green star area. That, that's Those are three. Like the rolling gizmo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we did those. Yeah. So it's really just secret stars. Okay, then once the secret stars are done, then we'll be good. Because I'm pretty sure there's still a few, um... What is it? Secret, uh, comet stars that we need to look, look for. So there's still, still some more comet stars? Yes, yes. Transform! Bro, this dude really wants to be a whole galaxy right now. Damn. He flew into the... He's actually a planet. Yeah. He flew into the black hole and then created a planet. Yes. Okay, where are we going? This way. Bro, I finished um freaking Mario Odyssey, bro. Oh, you did? Yeah. What'd you think of it when you turned into the Bowser? Is fire, bro. When I turned into Bowser, I literally freaking did you explore? became Jack Black. <laughs> That's how peaches, I felt, bro. Peaches, 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 peaches. This game really makes you feel like Jack Black. Like he's black and he's Jack. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> no, but the game is tap tap golden, bro. That tap, game tap. is crazy, bro. I think maybe better than Galaxy. Yeah. Yes. That is some blatant slander on Super Mario Galaxy. How the fuck have you not played it, bro? Because at the time, Nintendo was just too expensive and, you know, money. Damn, bro. Oh, the damn catcher had to freeze in the middle of me doing this. Oh my lord, We're still bro. fine. We're still fine. Still recording. Dog, freaking Mario Galaxy. Oh fuck, I fucked myself for him. Damn it! Damn what? Right. Try again. Mario Mario Odyssey got like some of the craziest like worlds of all time. Like they got New York City, and then they have like a Dark Souls like thing. They got Mexico. They got Mexico by the ice as well. That shit was crazy, bro. What else do they got? They got like a colorful like food volcano world. Oh yeah, that, that shit one. really nice. Really, really nice. But like, bro, I don't know. They, they really like went out. Went all I don't know out. how the, how do they come up with these ideas, bro, for like level design? It's crazy, bro. They're like, okay, so this one you get to fight like a giant hand. Bro, I that ass like they gotta be like cooking up some good ass like drugs over there at Nintendo Studios, bro. Because <laughs> I don't know how the heck they come up with some of this. Okay, so this one. We're gonna fight like, um, fight a giant, uh, caterpillar. Yes. And this one you're gonna fight a giant ass octopus, right? Yes! Get that star, bruh! 
I can't believe we're almost done with this freaking game, bro. We are. It's so close. This Whee! dude. This dude just ground pounded into that freaking star. Yeah. I also love the um the mechanic in Mario Odyssey where you can become anything and you can change your clothes and stuff oh, yeah. like that. It was nice when you changed your clothes and then when he went 2D, it actually showed in the game. In the game, Such yeah. a detailed game, bro. Fit, like, they, uh, they must have used, like, everything that they learned from Super Mario 64, Galaxy. Yeah. They combined into one. Yeah. Okay, so this... This world is done right now. Yes! We're gonna have to go to another... I forgot which one. Uh... There was... Fuck, I fell. Did you finish um, Avatar Netflix? Yes, I did. You can talk about spoilers. I did not finish it. I don't give a fuck about it. I, I don't give a fuck about it, bro. Okay. The casting and the... um, What is it? The, the casting and the effects are, like, fucking top tier. Alright? I generally felt as if, like, I could see... You know, this is how it would look like if... Um, real life, like, uh, avatar type stuff, you know? Yeah. But the writing is just, why do they need to change it, you know? Why was there a need for change? Yeah. Is my question when it comes to these live action adaptations. To keep it fresh, I guess, I don't know. But they change it so much to a point where it's like, you know, it, it, it's, a, it's a forced change to get new people to... to to watch the show, and I feel like that causes so much more, like, you know, turmoil. Yeah. Because look, look, look at these, like, specific, like, um, uh, what is it? Movies, like, the, uh, the Finance of Freddy's movie. They wanted, they specifically said in a, um, interview, right? Where they wanted to do some changes and bring in new people, right? Or bring new fans into the series. But Scott said, no, we're doing this for the fans, right? Mm. There's specifically, this movie is specifically for the fans. And it did so much better. It, it was like, what, 10 million as, um, uh, for how much it cost to make? Yeah. And 25, I think. 25? Yeah. Still pretty cheap. Yeah. Big budget movie. And then it made almost like 100 million. Yeah. Where are we going Trying to find these goddamn stars. Uh, that's what I'm saying when it comes to like that Avatar should do is that they should specifically be making this for the fans, you know? And if any other person and the fans will show that this is a good show to watch. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because look and that's what happened with the the Finance at Freddy's movie. That's what happens with the Mario movie. Yeah. They specifically made it for fans. They put, like, specific, like, little Easter eggs and stuff like that, right? And the fans hyped it up so much that... Alright, look for Deep Dark, Deep Dark Day, like, Galaxy, Secret Star. And they hyped it up so much that they made other people want to go watch it, you know? Yeah. And that's the trajectory for any live... For me, live action, the underground ghost ship. And that's what, like, any... A live action um, movie uh, show should specifically look for, you know? But overall, I'm giving it a 6.5 uh, for a show. For, for my rating out of 10. I don't believe what you gotta do is you gotta get the uh, Firefly and then get those two things on fire. You too? Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you remember where it is? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I got it. We go in here. But why not make it like? I mean, the finance of Freddy's it was good for the fans, but for the rest of the people, were like yes, I. But it's not created for for the rest of the people, is it? The how, the finance well, of Freddy's basically. Yeah. Well, what was what was the rest of it that it was hard? I'm am so, saying like like the general audience just said like it's it's, it's okay. Exactly. Like for the the what is it? They still got people to go watch it. You know. Yeah. What makes um. What I feel like what makes like any movie or show good is the people who talk about it. You know. Yeah. So. 
the more people talk about it, the more people are going to be interested in seeing like, oh, this this show must be good or this movie must be good because everybody says it's such a good show, and, you know? Yeah. So, do you think word of mouth is way more credible than uh, critics? Critics? Uh, yes. Damn. I feel like critics, like, some, sometimes, some critics are, you know, true to their word, saying that, like, Oh, this movie's good, or like this movie's bad. You shouldn't watch it, or whatever. You know. Yeah. But others, I feel like they're just they're just doing it because they're either paid, or they generally have like a bias, uh, you or gotta, like they're trying to get money. Like, you gotta go to the very bottom, bro. Mm -hmm. Grab the green shell, okay? Yeah. And then I'll tell you from there. Okay. What you were saying though. But yeah, like there, there's like, I feel like they're either paid. Or there, there's like a general bias, or there's a, what is it? There's a sense of like, oh, this movie's gonna do justice, so people need to watch it. Okay. So I feel like it, I don't know, like, some people, oh, Yo! okay, now what? I was gonna say, before you continue, you gotta launch it at like the mines around the, the ship, it'll explode and then there'll be a star where you can launch out of it. Okay. Really? With just this one? Yeah. Uh, I think so. Okay. If not, I know that shit like respawns. Yeah, it'll respawn. It's down. It's all the way down. I saw it actually. It's all the way down, bruh. I'm going, I'm going down. Here? No, down, 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 down. Uh, Okay, I'm going down. It's a sunken ship, my boy. I'm going down. Oh. It's right there. There's mines. It's mines. In the Mario universe, they were like, this This is a happy-go-lucky world. Let's make mines instead. What the fuck? Oh, look at that. Look at that, bro. You got that shit. Yes. Who the fuck made mines in fucking Mario, bro? I don't know, man. But, oh, look at this. Oh, my lord, bro. But yeah, that's that's my that's my whole issue. Gen it's generally just like, cause in Avatar, right? Remember, oh yeah, Avatar. I, I forgot we we're talking about that. Yeah. Yeah. So you remember the um, what is it? Oh fuck, the ghost. I remember the first episode, right? Yep. Yeah. Or not even the first episode. The first few episodes in the show. Um. Aang is they they find Aang and they find Aang, you know, he, he's like, Oh, like you're pretty uh, to Katara. And uh bruh. And uh you No bruh Does he have the star? Oh he does have the star. Yes, bro. Come to me, my friend. And in in the cartoon he he's like somewhat interest already interested in guitar because she's pretty and stuff like that right yeah and this show he shows no interest into her which is like you know it's fine right he's a monk and they don't really in in the monk ideology they don't really fall in love i try not to at least yeah. yeah try to fall in love um what else that's just completely gone hang is already Super wise. He's asexual, bro. <laughs> no. Asexual representation, bro. <laughs> he's he's already super wise. He doesn't want to be. Oh a yeah, kid. that shit. I I thought it was like, like he was a smart kid in the original, but he was still a kid. Like he was still naive and shit. Exactly. So why the fuck is he like monologuing every second in the Netflix show? Like you don't have, have to, to go save these people because. I'm the avatar. I'm the avatar. I am the superhero he, of this show, bro. We he, have to go, bro. I feel like he accepted the role way too early. Yeah, because in the show, like, at first he kind of, he didn't even want to do that shit. It was a lot of responsibility for him because, like, he's a kid. So he's like, I don't know if I'm up for this. Mm. Like, I just want to be a kid, to be honest with you. Yeah. And then throughout the show, he, he develops and grows into that role more and more. Exactly. When he sees, like, all the injustice that the Fire Nation has, you know done to the rest of the world so exactly. it felt like a lot more organic that way yeah and another thing is that like what is it um do we get all the secret stars by the way i have no idea I, like the game doesn't show you where the secret stars are i have to like keep jumping through like um 
places. So I'm trying to see if like there's no. Damn. So like yeah, but like that's another thing is that like, at, um, so the fight with uh, Zuko. Yeah. Remember and he has the blue mask. Or no, that that was fine. That was. Did we do all of these? I think we did. Did we? Did we not? Hold on. We'll, we'll I feel check. like we did. We'll check. We'll check. But um, no, when he escapes from the boat. Oh yeah, yeah. that's like the first uh, fight in the whole show. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, in the show, in the cartoon, Aang is super cocky, right? Yeah. And he shows how much of like an airbending master he kind of already is. Yeah. Where like he's literally able to use his his own breath to push the the crap out of um you know out of the guards in yeah. the cartoon. In the show, in the live action, he doesn't do any any form of like super like airbending stuff. Yeah. You know, in, in the cartoon, he's able to like dash around like uh in like a spiral to dodge the the guards and stuff like that. Yeah. Which is dope as fuck. And that's why he doesn't do any of that. He, uh, I feel like... I have to, like, rewatch watch that, that. I mean, that's just the, the difference when it comes to live action versus cartoon. Because in the cartoon, you could probably... It's a lot more easier for them to... Bro, they can use CGI them. to, like, fucking do that shit, you know? Or do some green screening of him just running and then they use the CGI to, like, you know, make it look like he's going around and stuff. You know, they, if they could do it for the Sonic movie, they could do it for the fucking... Yeah, but Sonic is a whole CGI monster, bro. <laughs> but then, like, what else? Um, so when he finally escapes, he just escapes, and then there's, there's, uh... There's, uh, That's what is it? it? Man. Appa and stuff like that. I think that, that My boy Joppa, bro. You know, and they, they escape. Uh, Katara is able to perfectly waterbend after one lesson that Aang showed her. Bro. Or just told her. Bending is just within energy within yourself. Bro. And then she's like, I can do it! Bro, I can do it! Chill, bro. That's and then the show, bro. In, in, in the show, in the cartoon, she like accidentally freezes Sokka trying to stop the bro. air uh, the firebenders and stuff like that. She's Katara, though, bro. Chill, bro. And then, and then what is it? Um. Uh, Aang doesn't like get hurt when he's trying to escape, right? Because he tries to fly away with his, his glider, Zuko shoots him down, and he falls into the into the water. And um, Katara is like screaming his name, and then he wakes up. Yeah, and then he wakes up, and um, he goes into the Avatar state, and then fucking like launches all of them. He doesn't do that in the first one. He just like escapes and like I'm out of here. I'm the Avatar. All right, we're gonna watch this. It, it's story time. Holy crap, bro, Mario was mind blown that there's a freaking room in here. Let us begin! But dude, this is backstory time, bro. Yeah. Damn, so bro, chapter one, bro. You don't know the story of, of Rosalina. Ooh, our story begins a very, very long time ago. Oh. One day, this girl who spotted a rush spaceship holding a small star child. <laughs> What's your name? Are you lost? The girl asked the star child. I'm Luma, and I'm waiting for Ma for Mama. <laughs> She's coming for me in a comment. Said said the star child, who had been waiting day and night. Oh wait, wait, wait. Let, me, let me be the star child. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, I'll wait with you. The little girl promised Luma. At nightfall, the little girl borrowed her father's telescope and peered into the night sky. She she looked and looked, but she saw nothing. Damn. Hours turned into days and then years, but still the sky revealed nothing. Damn. Finally, the little girl sighed and said to the Luma, If we stay here, we're looking much longer. I'll be an old lady soon. But then she had an idea. She already sounds like an old lady. <laughs> Why don't we go out there and find your mother ourselves? The, the girl and Luma fixed up the rusty spaceship and then the two set a sail into the starry sky. And this is how the search for the celestial mother began. Damn! Holy crap! Starbites. Or Starbits. 
Days passed with no sight of the comet or even a single planet. Instead, asteroids extended for, uh, for as far as the eye could see. If I had known it was... Wait, is this a... I think this is... The little, oh, girl. This is little girl. If I had known it was going to take this long, I would have packed more jam. The little girl above the rumble of her belly. Before they left, she had packed all the essential. Telescope, butterfly net, stuffed bunny, bread milk, jam, and a pro... A pro what? what? Apricot. Apricot flavored tea. But... I forgot to bring water! At, at this, Luma burst into gales of laughter, and the girl began to pout. This is as long as, as I have star bits, I'll be fine, said Luma. Want some? The, uh, the little girl couldn't stay mad after hearing this. The, uh, the, the Luma sounds like Samuel Jackson. <laughs> Luma continued to laugh, and the girl continued... Uh, but couldn't help but join in. <laughs> Alright, maybe just a level! Damn. Leaning far out of the, the ship, the pair began to collect star bits with the, the girl's net. They almost fell out of a, uh, fell out a few times, but they kept on collecting. Where's her fucking helmet? Bro, she's in space. She's out. Star bits taste like honey. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna try the star bits. The comet... How many chapters is uh, this? I have no idea, bro. A beam of light pierced through the ship's window. Thinking it was uh, the morning sun, the girl peered through the window, only to find a turquoise blue comet shimmering at her. Oh, that's a center. The little girl shook shook the sleeping Luma uh, awake and shouted excitedly, We have to get to the comet! Why does a little girl sound like a it's toad? <laughs> is it toad? Yeah, the pair descended on the comet and found that it was made of ice. Damn. They looked high and low, but Luma's mother was nowhere to be found. Damn, bro. Exhausted, the little girl sat down with a flop, utterly unable to take another step. Look! Bruh. Oh, a bunch of star bits. Peering down on the icy ground where Luma was pointing, the girl suddenly noticed clusters of star bits encased in the ice. Well, who said? Oh, Luma. This is Luma. Pretty good, huh? Finding star bits is my specialty, <laughs> said Luma. <laughs> Beaming. <laughs> Send me out Jackson, bro. Uh, there's ice out here, but it's so warm. I'll bet there's water here, too. The two decided to stay on the, the comet for a while. He sounds like fat chick. <laughs> <laughs> Writing the turquoise comet, the pair continued their search for Luma's mother. Oh, my lord. Chapter 4, The Dream. Bro, the dream, bro? Oh, my lord. One night, the girl dreamed about her own mother. Where are you going? She asked her mother's retreating uh, back. Without turning, her mother replied, Don't fret, dearest. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always watching over you, like the sun in the day and the moon in the night. <laughs> Samuel Jackson is <laughs> He turns around and he's just a black face. <laughs> oh, wait, but sand is washed over the girl. What about when it rains and I can't see the sun and the, or the moon? Her mother thought for a moment before responding. I will turn into a star in the clouds and wait for your tears to dry. <laughs> How poetic, bro. <laughs> <laughs> when, she, when she awoke, the girl's face uh, damp with tears. You have star bits in your eyes. Oh, said Luma to the girl. Wiping her face, the girl replied... These are tears, not star bits. I'm crying. I'm crying because I'll never see my mother ever again. At this, Luma began to cry too. Mama. Oh, mama. Why? <laughs> You're taking something that I probably would have cried at when I was a kid. <laughs> I think, yeah, comet. <laughs> the pair traveled through the starry skies and they encountered many other comets. Not one of them held Luma's mother. Luma was dis uh, despondent. Despondent. Now, now, Luma. The rain clouds won't go away if you keep crying, the girl said, giving Luma a squeeze. I'll give you a present if you stop. The girl closed her eyes and said gently, I'll take care of you. With these words, she felt a small spark in her heart. Yo, another chapter. Oh my god. Home. Home. I think this is the final chapter. Oh, crap. The kitchen will go here and the library will go over there, the girl said bustily to herself. Busily. We'll put the gate here. 
Ever since the girl took Luma under her care, she said she'd been bustling about at fairish pace. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it to make a happy home. It turned out the star bits weren't the only things buried in the ice. There were tools and furniture unlike any they had ever seen, and the girl used them to build a home. Oh my lord. Damn, they built all this? Yeah, what is that, bro? <laughs> Looking at the completed house, Luma remarked, Don't you think it's all fully big for just the two of us? With a library, bedroom, kitchen, fountain, <laughs> and gates, it was certainly spacious, but still something seemed to be missing. Uh, if only my father, brother, and mother were here, the girl said wistfully, and indeed the house was too large for the uh, for its two small residents. That night, clutching her favorite stuffed bunny close to her heart, the girl fell asleep in the starship. Oh, that bunny's about to come to life. Whoa. There's more chapters. <sighs> Friends, how many fucking chapters are these? This is the last chapter we'll read. Then one day, the girl sat sipping tea, and a tiny apricot-colored planet appeared on the horizon. From the planet, another luma of the same color wait, emerged. Wait, let me voice the other one. Okay. Do you two know each other? The girl asked two lumas gleefully. Despite the girl's excitement, they seemed uneasy. The two lumas neither drew close, closer nor backed away from each other. Instead, they just stared. Then one Luma broke the silence. <laughs> <laughs> At once, the apricot Luma parroted back. <laughs> the two Lumas began to dance around the girl frantically, and neither showed any sign of stopping. The girl was so charmed by this adorable scene that she couldn't help but laugh. And that's when something very strange happened. I farted. <laughs> Yo, it's a jellyfish. <laughs> Suddenly, more lumas began to pop up out of the apricot planet, and they were different colors, but they all shouted the same thing. <laughs> the sight of all the shouting lumas only made the girl laugh even harder. What am I going to do with all these children? The lumas just stared blankly as she doubled over laughing. I guess we'll all have to name... Each and every one of you. Tomorrow, when she had finished naming them all, she would begin moving all the Lumas into the new house. Okay, that's that's the last. Damn, bro! Oh my, look, my mama!